working on a 2012 Hyundai Sonata, uh, replacing the factory headlight assemblies uh, with an aftermarket version, just trying to get better vision down the road. If you've got the problem where the headlights seem to cut off and you can't raise them up, I'm uh, just trying to find another solution for that nighttime driving. I'm replacing it with these JS BOYAT headlamp assemblies, and they've got the black trim versus the chrome trim. Manufacturer HL 11 14 HI, and we're going to replace those now. All right, starting on the bottom of the car, there's a couple of clips I'm on the driver's side. Oops. Slowly, oops, slowly back that out. Then you can pull out the clip just like that. Boom. Then you can just Pop it loose from the fender there. It's the same thing on the passenger side. So if you've got a regular screwdriver, you can use it. And then if you need it, if it wouldn't come out, you can always use your pry tool if you needed to. But this one seems to be working correctly. And then same for that one. And under the fender wheel, we've got one bolt that has to come off right there. You can use a screwdriver, you can use the tin mill. Yeah, and then we'll wiggle that loose after we get the other bolts free. And it's the same on the passenger side. Get this. Tin mill out, this tin mill out, and we've got a few more of these just plastic clips that need to come out. So three, four, five, and six. All right, so we're looking at the fog lights now. You gotta come underneath this cover Let's see if we can find it here there it is squeeze the tabs and pull it out that way because this housing assembly is actually attached to the front fender then we've got the same thing on the passenger side there we go that's disconnected then once all that's disconnected, in theory, we're going to trust some of this plastic to get disconnected from its little clips in there. I give it a little tug. You can see our wiring is disconnected. Turn around the other side. Do the same thing again. Oh, you can see mine's broken right there. So potential repair I'm gonna need to do and be careful I don't rip the whole thing off let me grab a tool I'm gonna try my little pry tool here see if I can get it to come out it's kind of hard with one hand you have to negotiate this off camera all right so once I dug that piece out of this crevice the whole front bumper just came off uh, it had previously been in a front end collision so there's already some parts I need to repair while this bumpers off anyway but we're doing headlights today so let's get to that so we've got a bolt on here that needs to come off and then there's a like a little guide pin off the headlight here all right, so let's take off the wiring harness. Should just be able to give it a squeeze from the top and a wiggle. There we go. 
And we've got that 10 mil to take off. And we've got one here and one up here. All right, so it should pretty much just pull out at this point. Yeah, just like that. So let's do a comparison while we've got them out side by side. What I will say about the new one, you've got an actual adjustment screw for this light where you didn't for this one. Uh, just the high beam had any sort of activity you can change on, like this one, and this is the low beam. Now, one of the manufacturer issues was this plastic didn't get cut out, so you do need to cut that out to make sure you have access to get down to this screw here. You do have to reuse your old bulbs. Uh, the new headlamp assembly does not come with bulbs. So we'll need to get these guys out. Let's see. Can't really get a better view. Okay, so well, come on now. I actually want to take that spring clamp, push it forward and up, and that'll release it. You can take that out. Oh, that's interesting. What is going on with that bulb? I've never seen that before. Huh. All right, let's take the other one off. going on here. So my guess is this bad boy is getting ready to blow. I've got a new H7 I'm just going to put in over here on this side. I've got gloves on because with these bulbs you don't want the grease of your fingers to get on the bulb, which maybe whoever installed this, maybe that's why it's doing that from the oil. I don't know. So we'll just put this bulb in. This other side seemed to have this LED, HID, whatever converter this guy is in it. Um, but I'm just going to stick with the factory H7 style for right now. And then from there, see if I need to make an adjustment since I'm starting back over. I'm trying to get general visibility uh, back in view because I just haven't had any. So I'm going to put the bulb in first, just make sure the wiring's where it needs to be. I'm going to slide this in. Right. That just 
doesn't want to work well either. This aftermarket wiring is just a little bit different than the factory was. It's kind of obnoxious. Let's see. Let's try that. fitting definitely is not as tight as the factory I don't like that at all so I'm gonna adjust that a little bit okay so I just took my pick and I went into these little crevices here just kind of pried it forward a little bit and it's natural curl to make it a little bit tighter Seems to be set in there better. Yeah, take this blinker bulb. Switch it over to this new housing. Let's see if it'll play nice. Set it offset the wrong way. Okay. I'm just going to put our caps back on. Make sure that was tight. Remember, we've got to fix this access hole for the license or for the light adjuster as you know why wouldn't we need to do that after we just bought brand new lamp assemblies take any wagers if this thing actually fits correctly not that we don't trust China okay it's gotta go above that one there's that hole I go the little alignment area here the bolt hole access right there this one here here okay if we fix that what happens here well don't think this is supposed to stretch into place that's great what happens down here another alignment issue and that's uh, a little ways away and then we're up here. So it looks like looks like that's starting to break. Okay, let's go to our trusty tape measure here. And let's see, we're looking at about three and five eighths. And that one is three and a half. So it's offset incorrectly. Let's try that one. Uh, we got one and a quarter. And it's about one and a quarter as well. So something, let's try this. Yeah, 
something is just weird with these housings. They're just not the same. So now our fitment is off. As I was measuring all this stuff for the air, what I did notice on this OEM headlamp assembly, there's this access hole with this, but it goes to nothing where this aftermarket one has the same access hole that comes actually down to an alignment screw versus just the one on the OEM and there's the one that matches on the aftermarket. So why did they do this? Don't know. Well, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to wiggle and shake because we're just gonna put this one in just barely for right now. Um, this is in its position, but it's just off a little bit. So we're gonna wiggle this guy into position, get him started. And then look how far off this is. Okay, never had to stretch a headlight before, but now I have, so it finally got enough into place. We'll seat it down. You can see where the circle is, where it's intending you to center it, but that just ain't gonna happen. It's just off a little bit. And I'll go hand tighten those in a second. All right, so I hand tighten them with my ratchet. Now let's put our wiring harness back together. Let's see where we have the air. All right, so test run. They all three work. And the driver's side, just since we talked, we looked at the other light earlier. Yeah, you can see the different level of color coming out of it. So you can see this light was the drive light and this other side right here was for the high beam so that at least shows you the difference in the bulbs that we're replacing so i may swap those back out i don't know but i want to get a fresh star form for right now all right so i'm gonna wrap this up right now how it is i've got to fix the bumper before i put it back on just make sure that when you snap it back in um, you put all your screws back and then make sure you get your fog lights plug back in from underneath and then I plan on making a before and after video of what the headlights were looking like on the road at night before with the factory and then what these look like after and if it makes a difference or not because if you've got one of these Sonatas and you've got the low visibility at night because of the factory handlip assemblies just suck uh, hopefully there's a solution if it's not we'll all find out together thanks